What's up there you guys, it's your man Joe. Came around just to find out you need to know. So sometimes I do watch videos like this. It's by from the uh, Endless Love of Jesus Ministry. Uh, leave a link in the description, you guys can check it out for yourself. Um, this, this video is called The Dying Little Girl Tells Her Friend Why God uh, Came to Earth as Jesus to Die for Us. So, let's take a good look at this, shall we? But unto the Son, he saith, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of thy kingdom. This is a remarkable passage, in which God the Father calls his Son Jesus, God. It is a reference to the Old Testament passage from Psalms 45, 6 and 7. We find that Jesus is worshipped in every way, that the Bible specifically describes worship of God the Father. At every turn in the Bible, only one conclusion is possible, Jesus, is God the Son. He is the eternal, all-powerful, all-loving, self-existent, creator God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. According to the scriptures, this great creator is the one who not only made everything, but who redeemed us from our sins. Jesus Christ came to this earth, lived a perfect life in our place, died upon the cross. His blood was shed. Three days later he's resurrected. He lives today, and whosoever believes in him, and acknowledges him, and acknowledges who we are, in what we've done, and asked for forgiveness, and repent from our sins, can enter into a relationship with the Creator that will last for eternity. This is the good news. This is His free gift and desire for you. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. The whole power to restore, impart, and maintain life, resides in me. No higher claim to supreme divinity than this grand saying, can be conceived. May I see Kathy today, Mrs. Smith? Yes, Joey. She's in the backyard. Don't stay too long, she's very weak. Okay, I promise. Hi, Kathy. Is all your hair gone? Yes. The medicine made it fly away. Are you gonna die? Uh-huh. And then, I'll fly away too. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment? Are you afraid? Nope. Where will you go? I'm going to heaven. Jesus is waiting for me. It'll be wonderful. Because Jesus loves me. He loves you too, Joey. Jesus loves all of us. Even me? Yes, and he wants you to come to heaven and be with us forever. Wow! But, I don't know him. Jesus knows all about you, Joey. Would you like to meet him? He's wonderful. Yes. Jesus is the most important person there is. And he's my best friend. In fact, he sent you to my house today. He wants me to tell you about him, and what he did for you. Jesus is the most powerful, and richest person in the universe. And he loves you, and wants to be your friend for life, and even, forever. So, listen good. Joey, Jesus is the one who made everything. And, everything belongs to him. Jesus made the stars, the sun and moon, the earth, the trees, flowers, and all the animals. And Jesus created us, to be his friends. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. Kathy, is Jesus God? He sure is. And he loves me? He sure does. Let me finish, Joey. The people he created became naughty and nasty. They even turned against God. That's called sin. Everyone lied and cheated. They hated each other. So, the door to heaven was shut against them. Until, Jesus made a way. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. It's very important that you understand this story, Joey. First, the bad news. 
those who call this crazy, end up in an awful place called hell, when they die. But here is the good news. Jesus did something for us, so we could be with him in heaven forever. Listen real good, because this is a true story, and you have to make a choice. Joey, there are three parts to our God. All three make up one true God, who rules the universe. God the Father. No one can see him and live. God the Son, Jesus. He became a man. And God the Holy Ghost. He's a spirit. Jesus was sent to our planet to be the one who will make us fit for heaven. A young Jewish lady, who was a virgin and loved God, was chosen as the one to give birth to Jesus. The Holy Ghost came upon Mary and put a baby inside her, and the baby Jesus was born. God's Son was on earth with us. Nobody is good enough for heaven. We are all dirty with sin, so Jesus came to clean us up because sin isn't allowed in heaven. Jesus was the only one that lived a perfect life, because he never sinned. He taught the people to love their enemies and forgive others, but he also came to wash away their dirty sins. Jesus told the people he had come from heaven, that he was the Son of God. Some laughed at him. They didn't believe him. But when Jesus said these words, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The religious leaders wanted to kill him because he claimed to be the only way to heaven. So, how could Jesus wash away our sins, Kathy? Only God's sinless blood washes away sin, Joey. And the only one who had God's holy blood was Jesus. The punishment for sin is death in hell. So God's sinless son, Jesus, died for us, so we wouldn't have to go there. They arrested him, and hurt Jesus real bad, and made him bleed. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. They hung Jesus on a cross. It was a terrible way to die. But he did this, to get us into heaven. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He shed his blood to wash away our sins. He died in our place and was buried. Three days later he rose from the dead and went back to heaven. He did that for you. Wow, Jesus did all that for me? He did that for everyone. Did you believe what I told you, Joey? Yes, Kathy. Every word. Then, here's what you must do. Pray to Jesus and tell him you're a sinner. And ask him to forgive you. Tell him that you believe that he came to die in your place for your sins. Believe he rose from the dead and ask him to come into your heart and save you. Joey did it and something happened, something wonderful. Why do I feel different, Kathy? Because your sins are gone. And Jesus came to live in you just like you asked. Your heart is God's home now. You belong to Jesus, and now, he is your friend. And, you're not going to hell. Joey, because Jesus saved you. Joey, it's time you went home. Kathy has to take her pain medicine now. Okay, Mrs. Smith. I had a great time with her. Thank you. Pray for her, Joey. I will. I promise. Kathy's back in the hospital. She's got pneumonia again, in both lungs. Oh dear. We are so sorry, Esther. Kathy wants your son to know that she has a present for him. Jesus! You came for me. We're going home. She's gone. But look at her beautiful smile. Little Kathy flew away with her Jesus. Joey, here's Kathy's present. It's her Bible. Wow, thank you very much. There's something Kathy wants you to do for her. What's that, Mrs. Smith? Promise to tell all the little kids what she told you. Because they've got to know that Jesus loves them and wants to live in their hearts. And take them to heaven. I promise I will. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says there's only one way to heaven. 
Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. Nobody else. Alright, so I'm going to leave a link in the description so you guys can check this out for yourself. Um, yeah, so it's your man Joe. Repent for the day of the Lord is near. Please make Jesus Christ your personal Savior today. Please be washed by the blood of Jesus Christ and be baptized in the Holy Spirit and fire. Prepare for the rapture. Prepare for Jesus Christ's coming. Prepare for the wedding supper of the Lamb. Prepare for the seven-year tribulation. And prepare for the great white throne judgment. Okay, so it's your man Joe. See you guys in another video. So, okay? All right? All right, all right.